Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. This is Val and in today's video we're going to do a comparison between three beautiful Genesis 9 feminine models, HD, so all are HD, special details and all that, right? And here we have them loaded side by side, same pose, all default looks, same hair. And the hair I'm using, just for reference, is the FEK medium hair. And uh, on the left side here we had Alpha and Vera HD in the middle we have Tara 9 HD and on the right we have Victoria 9 HD so they are loaded you know, in the default look so to speak and I just added a quick pose and the pose I added is from Zedicus I'm just gonna point you to that which one it is it's uh, dramatic fashion full body in this one over here right cool now the thing is, uh, just upon looking at the girls right now, I see that the one on the left, which is this one, Vera, she's more voluptuous in her body, also more tanned, right? If we look at the right, or let's say middle, we have Tara, which is more on the slender side, kind of borderline being uh, acrobatic, right, uh, in her body. And on the right, we have something in between, like a more normal fashion type body, right? And that looks a little bit more like in between. This one voluptuous, this one less voluptuous, more skinny, and this one right in between. And also the one in the middle, Tara, is more pale in her skin, and the one on the right here, Victoria, is more in between those two. Now I'm gonna turn on a tool called Spot Render to avoid that yellow flashing thing that we all love to see, right? Now I'm gonna go in close. So I'm gonna go in close on the one here. This is Vera. Let's take a look at the face. Face looks amazing, I think, right? Texture is really good, but lacks a little bit detail. It's not that overly super detailed. It looks really, really good but I think it just lacks a bit of detail. And if we take a look here, same thing, it looks okay, right? It lacks a little bit of detail and definition. A little bit empty, I would say, right? Yeah, this is a little bit odd. For, for you know, HD texture, I would kind of want to see a little bit more detail. It's a little bit empty for my taste. And let's take a look at the knees. Knees look kind of okay-ish, right? Then we got the bottom, we got feet, which look okay. Have a little bit of veins in them and details. Kind of okay, right? Nothing too shocky. And then we have here, this hand belongs to Vera. And again, a little bit featureless. I would love more detail on an HD character, right? So although I think she looks stunning, right? I mean, voluptuous, the voluptuous shape is great. Uh, I think she lacks detail. The texture lacks detail. Then when we look at the options that come with Vera, if we just go in here on Genesis 9 and we got characters, right? Uh, if we click on Vera, you see that there is, you know, here, let me just see where I am. We got additional shaping presets, all right, fingernails and so forth, nipples on, push bra and so forth, right? And you got materials, all the base materials here, and you've got makeup options, which is cool, right? You also have crying um, options, or th these are really cool because it adds an additional uh, element of depth. Let me see how they look like. Let's click on this one. That's really cool. These are really well done. So let's get a bit closer. Really good. These are exceptionally good. I love this. Great stuff. Very detailed. Great looking. Extremely good looking textures, I'd say. For the makeup options, right? So that's a huge pro. All right. That's our Vera girl. Now let's go to Tara right in the middle. Let's get close to Tara. See how she looks. 
Uh, so Tara, out of the bunch, has the most details on the textures. There are an exceptional amount of details. There is shifting in uh, the color of the skin. There is freckles, imperfections. It has depth. It has a personality, right? So exceptionally good texture. And if you go down here, you see a lot of extra details. Again, shifts in color, really good looking. And here, as when it really shines, we got a little bit of see through here uh, from the uh, panty, right? But look at this. This is incredible. That amount of detail is just incredible. And also when I got to knees, knees look much better. See, I mean, come on, that's an HD character, guys. That's an HD character. And then we have uh, feet at the bottom that look exceptional. Lots of depth, lots of details. All right, the options that come with Terra are very few, unfortunately. There's not as much texture options as far as Terra goes. So uh, let me just uh, click on Terra here. So we got you know all the base stuff, but no makeup options. All right. Um, got some shaping if we want to, you know, adjust uh, the character for uh, some kind of uh, dresses. But other than that, we don't have much options here, which is a pity, right? Uh, not at all. But then we go to Victor and I, which has a good looking shape. And the amount of detail is quite good as well she has a lot of freckles and details on the skin uh, which gives her a spe specific look and personality which i adore this is just great this is the stuff we need as artists some model that looks a little bit different not the standard you know fashion all look the same right this is great this is great stuff again lots of details And here also a lot of details. But to me, these details feel like just splattered all over the place, right? Um, let's just see here. Again, lots of cool details, but they, and again, they feel kind of splattered into place. And we got feet, which look good, but lack detail and definition. They kind of look flat to me. They lack bones and stuff. There is, this is not a good foot. It looks completely flat. Let's take a look from behind. Um, for that to work, I'm gonna just uh, turn around my lighting so we see something, right? Um, thing is, here with Victoria, right? Again, looks kind of definition wise okay, but if you splat it around, right? Hands on Victoria, this is the one here, a little more red toned. Look okay, right? Then we got Tara's hands here, which look amazing. We feel the bones, we feel the nuances, the shifts in color and all that, right? And here going just on Tara back here. Lacks a little bit of detail here in the back here looks really good and these details don't feel splattered they just feel like they are here and there and you kind of see it feels like a real body to me and here is the original the first one the vera right and same thing i, I forgot to mention that victoria doesn't come with a lot of uh, you know uh, makeup options however victoria comes with a this texture here is the worst of the bunch, I think. It has no detail whatsoever. It's just a very plainer looking texture. All right. But the thing is, what we can do is go on Victoria and click on an option. There is a, an option uh, for the skin to make her look a little bit more um, nuanced, so to speak. I'm gonna just uh, do click on it here. Let me just select Victoria and click on her here. 
that kind of adds more imperfections, but to me, okay, it's, well, I mean, it adds a lot of variety, but I think it's too much, right? Could be just one tenth of that, just to add a bit of imperfection. Doesn't need to be that kind of destroyed skin. I think that was a little bit too much. So all in all, guys, I think Terra is the, the winner. It has the most exceptional looking textures, a really good character with a lot of definition on bones, on everything, and the textures are just amazing. Now, option-wise, Vera is the winner because she comes with a lot of cool uh, makeup options that look amazing, all right? Now, the beautiful thing about textures is that in Daz, you can just click on your Vera character and say, hey, I want to borrow some textures from Tara, right? So let's go to Tara uh, uh, here, right? And let's say, hey, I want to use those textures on my Vera character. That's okay. We click on the preset for Tara and apply it on Vera. And let me just update that a little bit quick. Let me just pause while waiting. Oh, there we go. And now it loads and we got Tara's textures immediately added here. And we can see the details and so forth here, right? Which is exceptional. And while we add it, now in this case, you can't just go to Vera's makeup options and add them because when you do apply them on top of the Tara texture, you see that it has a different tone and blend and doesn't work at all, right? So that's not something we can do in this case. Now, as far as makeup goes, you can of course use uh, an additional makeup system like this one here, uh, or this one here for a little bit more advanced effects, right? I'm gonna show you how they work inside Dash Studio now. And so right inside Dash Studio here is Terra, and what you can do is Locate this extra package I just showed you uh, that will be going into, let's see, uh, materials, jazz originals, makeup system, dramatic, and let's just add something for our tower character. So this adds an, like, like an overlay on top of your texture. So it doesn't, you know, change the look, the base look, it just adds an overlay on top, which is really cool, frankly, right? It enables you to kind of add and tweak textures all together in many, many different options and apply and create just the look you want. So if you don't have textures for one, for one character, you can easily add using this method. So guys, that pretty much ends our tutorial for today, right? So thank you so much for watching. There are links uh, below this video for all these uh, three characters, including also links to the makeup options I showed you. There was also additional links below uh, to the free photo studio for Dash Studio and also our $1 trial, seven day trial for Super 3 Art Quick Start if you want to create Dash Studio Art quicker and with more fun than ever. So guys, that's all. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon again.